Cointegration test for panel data can be done using either of the three tests, that is Cow, Pedroni, or Westerlad. And where the Cow and the Pedroni tests have similar null and alternative hypotheses, for the Westerlad test, we always have an option to choose the alternative hypothesis, which is either some panels are cointegrated or all panels are cointegrated. In this video, I take you through the procedure for testing cointegration using the Westerlad test. First of all, we set our data to be panel data by selecting statistics, then longitudinal setup and utilities, then declare data set to be panel. Here we select the panel ID and the time variable and this is quarterly and click OK. Now that we have already set our data to be panel, we go to the procedure for testing for cointegration using the Westerlad test. It is similar to the cow and the pedroni. So we select statistics, then we select longitudinal stroke panel data and go to cointegrated data and select test for cointegration. So now here for the test, we are going to select the Westerland. And then we select our dependent variable. I am using a similar data that I have used for the other test for cointegration. So the dependent variable is lower and the independent variables are GDP and inflation. So for the for this test we first of all select some panels are cointegrated then we can click submit and see what we get. Now you can see that since we have selected the alternative hypothesis as some panels are cointegrated, so the alternative hypothesis here is written as some panels are cointegrated and the null hypothesis is no cointegration. And similar to what we did for the cow and the pedroni, we check the p-value and see if it is less than 0.05 or more than 0.05 and in our results we can see that the p-value is 0.0004 which is less than 0.05 and therefore we are going to reject the null hypothesis of no cointegration and we adopt the alternative hypothesis that some panels are cointegrated. We can also do the test and different from what we have done, we select the alternative hypothesis to be all panels are cointegrated and then we can click OK. And these are the results. We find that the p-value is 0.0121 and the null hypothesis is that there is no cointegration and the alternative hypothesis is all panels are cointegrated. And now checking on the p-value which is 0.0121 it is less than 0.05 and therefore we conclude that all panels are cointegrated and therefore we are going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that our panels are cointegrated and that means that our variables have a long run relationship. Has this information been useful to you? If so, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more.